All right, here's another side hustle that no one talks about, and it creates a recurring cash flow weekly if you do it right, and this is what it is. This TikTok side hustle, it's not even really a TikTok side hustle, it's a personal training fitness coach, and I've done it for, in the past, for about seven years. So I know a lot about this, and I can let you know in this video what steps you can take to maybe get your first client in the next 30 days. So the first thing you're gonna do is pick a niche. You're gonna niche down in that fitness space. So. Is it going to be for older adults, over 80, 60 to 70, 50, 40 to 50, younger adults, teenagers, athletes, men, women, both? Is it going to be for weight loss? Is it going to be for bodybuilding? Is it going to be for CrossFit type training? Is it going to be um, bodybuilding, weightlifting, um, running? Is it going to be a mix? That sort of thing. So you've got to narrow that down and know what niche you want to train in. Once you've decided that, you're going to, if you don't want to spend any money, you need to start posting on social media instantly on as many channels as you can. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, all of them, every of them. You're going to be posting every day and you can make content once a day and then plaster that on a social um, auto poster and push it out to all your con all your channels, all your platforms. Uh, I used to, I still do this. I post um, for my previous fitness business, I posted every day for years and then for this current uh, channel I post every day as well. It's just a thing you got to do if you don't want to spend money on advertising. So that's a thing. The first, so that will get you probably a lot of traffic in the door. Make sure you put a contact on there. If you want to get a little more fancy, you could get an email opt-in page where you can start collecting emails because that will really amp up your chances of getting some clients. You can email them out and follow up with them and offer them things. The second thing you're going to do is you're, a lot of people make this mistake, a lot of beginners, is they try to charge per session, like a package, like 10 sessions for a thousand bucks or whatever, which is the wrong way to do it. It should be a recurring weekly income that they're paying, they're char you're charging. So for example, if they're going to meet you once a week, twice a week, or three times a week, you come on a set schedule and they charge you uh, or you charge them weekly and you get their credit card. Okay. It's, there's no cash. You don't take their cash. It's credit card only. So that way you can get recurring predictable income. Or you could set up, if you don't have a merchant account, you could do a subscription on PayPal. But forget email transfers, forget um, cash. It's got to be recurring subscription. If they miss a session, too bad. Then they're not the right type of client. And you don't want those type of people. You want serious clients who are going to show up for their sessions. And then the third thing I could say is um, the fitter you are, the more muscular you are, are, it's just a harsh reality of life. The fitter you are in the fitness space, the more um, physical you are, the more the better you look, the more money you can charge. So that's a big thing too. And you should learn how to sell big time. Get a lot of books on selling and you